Guys, welcome to uh, a new bow build video. If you have been following along with our channel long enough, you'll know that we've spent countless number of days and hours with Cody and Jeremiah, and the guys at Will Isle Arrow Archery here in Centerville, Utah. Typically, we'll join these guys every year when Hoyt launches their brand new lineup, and also anytime we're prepping for the season upcoming. These guys are the go-to archery folks. We'll leave a link of a lot of other videos we've done with them in the video or the description box for you to check out. But today's a big day. Hoyt is launching their brand new 2023 lineup, and we are gonna touch on that here in just a minute and uh, go over some of the unique details and features. But beforehand, we wanna let you know, we're giving one of these brand new Hoyt bows away to one of you. It is super easy to enter, no purchase necessary. All you have to do is join our VIP text message group. Text VTM. 2023 to the number 75987. You will automatically be entered to win. We'll pick a winner at the conclusion of this promotion. The dates here are listed in the video below, and one lucky person is gonna walk away with a brand new Hoyt bow. All right, should we take a look at the brand new bow? Let's do it, man. Boom. Nice. Yeah, it looks good. This is the uh, new uh, VTM 31 this year. So, uh, in the brand new bourbon color. The bourbon color. I like yeah. it. it. I think it kind of grows on you over time. It, yeah, I would agree. But out of the gate, it's like a different variation of brown compared to the old buckskin they've had for yeah. quite a few years. Yeah. No, that looks sharp with the black accents on there and everything. So. This will be pretty sweet. So before we get into some of the differences between last year's bow and this year's bow, walk them through what other colors are available. Yeah, so I think Hoyt still, like, I think they kept buckskin, the blackout, which both of those are really, really popular. Uh, they're still gonna offer several of their original camo patterns that they've had, but they're gonna offer one new camo pattern this year from Origin, actually. Uh, it's the Raptor Highland. Yep. Uh, and boy, I, I think it's gonna look really sharp. I've seen Cameron Haynes uh, had a couple bows dipped in it this summer. It looked really good. So I think that'll be a really cool new pattern they're gonna offer for 2023. Awesome. So. All right, so jumping into the details, walk us through what is different with Fisher's new VTM. Yeah, so um, they've done a couple things this year. On, on They have two models coming out. They have the 31, which I'm holding here and now they're gonna have a 34. So they basically took the Ventums, they both grew an inch axle to the axle a little bit longer. Um, and they've done a lot more of some integration into the riser this year, which I think is gonna be a great feature. I think a lot of guys are gonna really like it. So uh, number one, what they've done is for guys that are running the Garmin on the pick rail or just the Garmin to the mount, uh, we've kind of had an issue with the, the cable system. Uh, so what Hoyt's done this year is they've actually machined a hole here to where when we're running the cable down to the pressure switch, it's now integrated through the riser, which I think is a fantastic idea. Uh, and they've done the same thing for the down cable here for your rest. So if you're running like the Hoyt Integrate style quad rest, uh, they actually have a hole machined here to where your cable can run down through it now. So both of those features are pretty cool. It's something that maybe if a guy just picked up the bow initially, you probably wouldn't kind of catch on to the first glance, but um, some great features that way. Um, but what, what Hoyt really focused on this year is making some improvements to the, to the shooting of the bow and, and how it feels. And so um, even though last year's Ventum was really smooth, really quiet, uh, the new bow uh, is 31% quieter than last year's bow. Yeah, some people would argue that the Hoyt Venom Pro was the quietest, smoothest shooting bow Hoyt's ever made. Right. Yeah, I mean, last year's Ventum was great. I mean, there's, uh, you know, every year you go, man, how do they improve upon this? It feels like it's perfect. And then and then you, you grab a bow like this out and you shoot and go, man. You give, them a, you give those engineers a year to really work and refine on the smallest changes, the smallest details. And, and sometimes to, to your naked eye, it's really hard to pick those details out. It's not like it's a drastic change, but then you pick up the bow and you shoot it and you're like, man, it, it got better. How the heck did these guys do that? And that's what we have right here for sure. They also obviously have got a lot of accessories. Everything's kind of trying to streamline, yeah. in line. And when doing so, it reduces the noise and vibration even greater. Right? Yeah, so talking to the engineers, they're saying that if you're running the Hoyt inline uh, system, you know, whether it's inline pick rails, rest, uh, their, their quiver system, which they've designed a couple of great quiver options around these bows. 
Uh, by running everything in line, you're actually reducing another 11% uh, on noise on this bow. So, um, and, and Hoyt's has been giving shooters so many good options, whether you're running pick rails, you know, the, the, the uh, integrate system for the rest. Um, I'm a big fan of the two different stabilizer locations. And then what's getting more and more common, more and more popular is guys running a sidebar where, um, you know, with, with bows that have too much top weight or side head, they kind of get unbalanced. Hoyt still offers the SL sidebar mount that you can run a side stabilizer and it significantly helps reduce noise vibration but yet balances the bow to where the bow just aims so much easier on target. So there's some great accessory options from Hoyt that just completes the whole package really. Um, so one thing that, that Hoyt brought back this year is their Vital Point Grip. Um, a lot of guys really like that. It's very ergonomic, it has the perfect texture where uh, once you get your hand up in there, it just kind of locks in. So love Hoyt Grip, it's very comfortable. Um, and then they still kept their HBX Pro Cam, which this cam system last couple years has been great. The first gen was awesome. They came out with the Pro version last year. It stays on this bow for this year. Overall, it's a great cam, uh, very smooth draw. When one thing I hear from customers all the time is they'll come in and shoot bows and, and uh, they, they think the bow's a lot lower poundage than it's set to. Yeah. They, they'll ask me all the time, like, can you set this to 70? And I'm like, it already is. And so it's been really nice with this cam. I see a lot of guys actually increasing the amount of draw weight than, they, than their previous model bow they've been shooting because of how smooth and easy this cam is to draw. So, um, so great cam system there. And then, you know, overall as a package, um, you know, you, you get the, the new bow, you're running the inline system. Um, the amount of vibration reduction that Hoyt's offered this year is pretty impressive. They're saying another 59% reduction, which for an engineer is huge. That, that's a lot of hard hours and work for those guys to sit down to be able to reduce that much more vibration out of a bow system, so. You know, we, we got some bows in stock right now. They're, uh, at least guys can come down to the shop, give them a, you know, try them out, get a feel for them. Um, and then, uh, you know, we got a lot of bows in the system. So as Hoyt's kind of getting stuff built, we should have a lot. So yeah, if anybody's interested and wants to run on down to Wild Arrow, uh, we'll definitely set one of these up, put it to your draw length, whatever poundage, and let you try some arrows out of it and and uh, let you get a feel for the new uh, BTM uh, 31 in a 2023 model Hoyt, so. Right on. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is the, the brand new aluminum VTM from Hoyt. We're super excited to shoot these this year. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you go enter to win one of these brand new bows. Again, here's all the information and the dates below. Super easy to enter, and we're giving away one of these brand new bows to one of you lucky winners. Appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you uh, give Wild Arrow a follow and also come check them out. If you guys are in Utah, make sure you go check out Wild Arrow. Jeremiah, Cody, the whole crew, they provide fantastic service. We call it the Wild Arrow experience, super unique and uh, one of a kind in our opinion. Yeah. They've had a lot of people fly in all over the country to have their bows set up and built specifically from watching these videos. So thank you guys for the continued support and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.